Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to use Pictory AI more specifically for YouTube videos. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below in the description and if you click that, you can get a free trial for Pictory. Should you want to upgrade, I'll also put a coupon code down below so you can save a good amount of money, which is always fun. So. In this specific tutorial, I'm gonna be talking about script to video. This is my favorite feature with this. All you have to do is get a script, whether you write it yourself, use ChatGPT or any other AI content writer, paste it in, change around the sentences, and you're gonna be good to go. I already have it open in another tab, but what we would do here is click on proceed, and here's gonna be the quick script that I came up with. It's pretty much gonna be like three tips for affiliate marketing success. Now, normally when you paste it in, you might have a script that's gonna have like a ton of paragraphs, very long sentences. I like doing one sentence for each line and probably not too much longer than this, specifically because when it gets too long, that means it's gonna take up more of the specific slide and I think it's gonna look better overall. Plus, this is pretty much every sentence here is gonna be its own slide itself. So this is gonna be good here. We have our first tip, we have our second tip, we have our third tip in the beginning is an introduction and at the end has a call to action where they can sign up for say like an affiliate marketing newsletter. Everything looks good here. Like I said, however you wanna do your script, whether it's chat GPT, any other AI content writer, outsourcing, you doing it yourself, you can do it however you want. But once it's pasted in here, let's click on proceed. Let's give it a name too. All right, so three affiliate marketing tips. Saving, let's click on proceed. So for this is going to be the template that we wanna choose. As I always say when I get to this specific part, don't worry about what's in the background here. You're just specifically looking at like the text, the color and what it looks like, okay? Cause these are always gonna be different in terms of the backgrounds, but like this one actually looks pretty cool. Kind of the gray, the white, and it, it pops out a little bit and it's on the bottom. I'm gonna go with this one. They recently just added plenty more too. So nevertheless, once we click on it, since this is gonna be for YouTube videos specifically, we want the 16.9 right here. Let's click that. And of course, give it some time to load depending on how many like slides you're gonna have here. But once it's done, I will get back to you and we will continue on in the storyboard section. All right, so here we are. We are on our storyboard here and what it's gonna do right here when it comes to the story section, this is where you can go in and change around your text if needed to. It's pretty easy and uh, you, know, you just tap on it and if you wanna edit it, delete. Uh, our script looks pretty good. Like I said, I had ChatGPT do it, so that's gonna be good. You're probably not gonna have to do too much with that, which is always a good thing. So a lot of the heavy lifting here is already done for you because what happens is, is that Pictory goes and finds specific keywords and brings you visuals that are kind of related to them. So as I always talk about, sometimes they're gonna be right on the nose. So for this, it looks like there's water and someone is like about to jump in. So as it says right here, someone's gonna jump into it, so we have water, but in the context of affiliate marketing, do we want that there? Maybe, maybe not. That's gonna be up to you about how specific you wanna be with each of the sections, but nevertheless, allow me to show you the process. So the beginning is gonna be talking about the world of affiliate marketing. So what we can do here is type in affiliate marketing, and pretty much what you're gonna to wanna to do is look for specific keywords when it comes to like a lot of the related things. So it could be affiliate marketing, it could be internet marketing, it could be online marketing, it could be business, but this one looks pretty good. People are excited, like they're looking for the, uh, the strategies and so on and so forth. So how about this? Let's like get started. A lot of times, we're, there you go, like someone about to get ready, so. Even something like that, that'd work perfect, that's fine. Let's go to scene number three. So choose the right niche. So niche is gonna be a little bit tough. Like when you say that word, like what do you think of for a video background? Like it's it's tough for me to come up with. You know, we have someone here just thinking. I would say like someone using laptop. Maybe like they're doing work on a laptop. It's pretty broad, it's pretty bland, but you know, maybe they're searching and doing research and so on and so forth. So something like that can be fine. First step towards affiliate marketing success is selecting the right niche. I mean, that works, affiliate marketing, you know, searching more for it, that's fine. It's all about targeting a specific audience. Let's, so, let's see, audience, referrals. I mean, that works well, but that's more of like, I like the real videos type of thing. So we have an audience there, okay, that can work. Let's go to the next one. And as you can see, this is gonna be the bulk of the process. So depending on what your keywords are and like how much it comes up with, then you know it'll take a little bit more, it'll take a little, little bit less sometimes. Let's just say like profitability. And let's see what it has. So someone counting money, graphs. I think that one's pretty good, like showing that they're doing well. Scene seven. As an authority and build a loyal audience that values your recommendations. I mean, that one's fine. Let's keep that. Let's hit the arrow button, so go to eight. 
we have quality over quantity. Okay, like that one is clearly a match, but I just don't like those like silly GIF type videos. Okay, so let's just like type in quality. You can use that if you want, like I said. Yeah, sure. Thumbs up for quality. That's fine. We can do that one. Now let's talk about the content. How about this, like content marketing? I think the biggest thing that you got to think about a lot is like what keywords are you trying to portray here? So social media marketing trends, I mean, something like that. A lot of these can be very broad in terms of like people working or like say it's like a startup company or getting ideas or research. Like it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Uh, it's tempting to flood your platforms with a multitude of affiliate products, but remember quality always trumps quantity. I mean, I guess that's someone like packing something up. That's fine. I'll go with that. An authentic that provides real value. So how about this? Happy audience. Something like that. Maybe not so much. I'd say something like that. That would be great. That one's kind of funny too. That's totally not related, but <laughs> nevertheless, I thought it was funny. So that was scene 11. Let's go to scene 12. Whether it's product reviews, tutorials. Okay, that's good. It looks like they're doing a tutorial. That's perfect. Small number of well-promoted high-quality products yield better results. How about, let's see, results. Like I said, that can be very broad in terms of results. Results can be for like anything, right? But once again, like someone high-fiving, getting good results, I'll go with that, right? Build strong relationships. How about this? This looks like they're having fun together. Are they gonna high-five? Once again, looks good. 15, relationships. So relationship, how about marketing? I don't know if something would come up with that. Like I said, I'm just kind of like, first thing that comes to my mind. So two people talking, looks like they're shaking hand. That one's perfect, there we go. Let's click the arrow here, 16. Strong report with your audience, engaging their comments, questions. So looks like they're engaging, they're talking, they're having fun. Okay, being transparent, uh, whatever you believe in. So once again, teamwork, sure. Like I said, a little bit broad, but that's fine. Encourages your audience to follow your recommendation. How about trust, just in general? Or like something like, uh oh, are they gonna rip this in half? We don't want that, okay? I think this one's a little bit better, like the shaking of a hand. Ripping trust in half, I mean, it's related. See, once again, this this is a perfect example about how it has trust on it, but this is more of like a lack of trust. So sometimes things will come up that way. Of networking, that's great. I mean, that's it looks like a Verizon commercial, but we'll roll with it. You reach and open new opportunities, so they're collaborating, partnerships, expanding, sure. Web marketing, hmm, let's change that one. Let's just do marketing. So this one could be like someone at a laptop, maybe like, you know, fist pumping, or maybe they're just doing work. I like that one as well. Like I said, with a lot of the marketing stuff, it's usually gonna be like bland type of things because it can be a lot of different things. Uh, so which scene was this? Let's move forward to the next one, which is gonna be 22. Let's just do affiliate and see if anything like that, aside from that one, that one came up before. These are more of like, I call the GIF ones. Let's just do, how about this one? Maybe someone showing someone else how to like take their journey to the next level. I think that's fine. To sign up for exclusive newsletter. So how about like marketing education? What I'm trying to do is come up with just different types of keywords and phrases. So like this is perfect. So like when you sign up for the newsletter, you're getting all this great information. Once again, someone teaching, someone learning, and then 24. Stay updated with the latest strategies, insider, and uh, to supercharge your affiliate marketing game. So I think we can do this one as well. Just like a continuation of someone else talking about it, we can stay on your game. And nevertheless, like I said, that's gonna be the bulk of the heavy lifting. What I like about Pictory so much is that it finds those keywords and gives you the necessary videos for the backgrounds. And of course, they're always gonna be like slightly different given the fact that say trust can mean something like two people trusting each other or two people not trusting each other, you know what I mean? So let's go on to some of the other sections here. We do have our audio and I am on a computer where I can hear the audio and the voiceovers, but you can't, so I'm just not gonna play them. Nevertheless, if you want to remove that, you can. If you wanna play something, you can click on the play button. And of course, if you wanna apply it, you can do that as well. Same goes with the voice 
voiceovers. There's plenty of them. We have English US, uh, English UK. There's Australian, uh, India, New Zealand, and South African. You can also like differentiate by male or female, the speed, and so on and so forth. There's going to be a my upload section, so you can upload your own voiceovers or background music. But if you wanted to do it really quickly, you can just go through and do apply to all of these. What I'm going to show you is how to add your own voiceover because this is what I do a lot when doing my videos. I like doing it just because it's very simple for me to do. It doesn't take too long. But what you would do is go to each specific slide and you would click on the record voiceover button. I already have my mic on so I can already do it. So once we click on that, we just click on the press to record and simply just read what's gonna be on the screen. Once we are done, we hit the stop button and then we can apply it. So here's how it works. Today we're diving into the world of affiliate marketing and sharing three powerful tips that can skyrocket your success in this exciting field. And then apply. So what's gonna happen, give it a sec to load. I have plenty more from all the other videos, but it's gonna show just on scene one. As you'll notice it has that little arrow there because we have the voiceover. If we go to two, it's not gonna have it because of course we haven't done it. So let's click on this. I'm just gonna do it one more time. And this is gonna be the process. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and apply. So that's how you can actually go about utilizing your own. If you wanted to upload your own as well, you can do that there for like much longer ones where you can sync it as well and so on and so forth. But that's gonna pretty much be like the audio section. Text I rarely talk about too much. If you wanted to add a heading, a subheading, it's pretty simple, your text would go there. You can add it in, delete it, move it around and so on and so forth. Elements I rarely use because I don't really need too many GIFs or emojis, but they are gonna be here in case you want like a laugh, you know, or, or something like this, like Happy Wednesday or whatever it's going to be, stickers and so on and so forth. Styles is going to be the template that we originally picked, so I don't really go about changing this at all because I don't need to. I like the template that we selected, but if you want to like mess around with that or do some stuff there, that's where it's going to be. Branding is good if you want an intro and an outro scene. I always say the same thing here. I love getting straight to the point in my videos, so I really don't want an intro. It's just gonna add more to the video. And an outro, I just do myself, so I personally never use those. But what's something good here that you can do is upload your logo so you can watermark your videos. Upon doing so, you could have your logo here, you could have it there, you could have it on this side. Let me see if I still have it on my desktop and I'll show you. Okay, so I do still have it, great. So let's do this here, so that's not there. So logo size, a little bit too big. We have the opacity, which is great. So you can make it like very light if you want. You know, that's gonna be up to you. I think around there is gonna be perfectly fine. And we can put it in whatever position we want. <laughs> we can put it smack dab in the middle if you want. Uh, like normally on YouTube, I already have one on YouTube there, so I'm not gonna use it. But this is good in case like people start stealing your videos and you watermarked it. So someone can be like, you know, this is my video. And then you just point them to your logo, or your name or your brand and be like, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you're wrong on that one. So that's how you can add your logo goes there. Last but not least, we have our format. Make sure your video resolution is on 1080 because 1080 is much better than 720, in my opinion, obviously. So you want the much higher quality video. Last but not least is gonna be the download button right here. Upon clicking on this, you can go to video and it's pretty much just gonna walk you through the steps. It's very easy to do, but that should sum up my very, I was about to say very quick tutorial. It wasn't that quick, but it was a uh, quick er tutorial compared to some of the longer ones I do about how to use Pictory AI for your YouTube videos. Pretty simple stuff. Like I said in the beginning, when it comes to the script, you can write it. Chat GPT can write it. Any other AI can do it. You can outsource it. However you get it done. Pictory is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to matching up the keywords to the video backgrounds. Then you're just going to want to go through and change some of the rounds so that they're better and more fitted to your liking, your brand, or maybe just whatever you want to put in the background. If you have any questions, you can feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you want to test out Pictory, they do come with a free trial, so you can test them out. And of course, should you want to upgrade, I do have my coupons so you can save a good amount of money. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.